Hi, Taylor. My name's Gabrielle. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, as a, a patient care tech here, it's really important that you understand the concept of keywords at key times. Mm -hmm. um, right now, uh, what the unit's really going to focus on is pain okay. and controlling patient pain. Um, the HCAPS uh, scores are based on very specified questions that are set up by the CMS. Mm -hmm. And so um, one of the questions related to pain is, was your pain controlled while you were in the facility? So many times um, patients come in and they're already in a lot of chronic pain. So um, I think it's important that we try to use some of the keywords like controlling pain and um, accurate pain goals can be listed on our uh, communication boards in an effort to, to uh, increase the scores. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of times, you know, with this unmanaged pain and chronic pain people, it's almost kind of like a volcano. I've, I've made the image of a <laughs> volcano here. Um, it's just uncontrolled, it's unwielding. Maybe the doctors haven't um, ordered the medications they're normally on and they've had a mm -hmm. procedure, they're very uncomfortable. Um, so it's important with this type of patient that we don't let it get out of control. Gotcha. Um, and what we really want to do is we want to manage it more um, and find out how to control it to a point where they can actually um, perform ADLs. Gotcha. Um, so what we really want it to look like is a little campfire. So it's still smoldering, there's still some pain there because they're not going to be completely free of pain, but they are able to perform the, the actual things that they need to do gotcha. in order to get out of the facility. Um, so one of the things um, we're going to start doing in our hourly rounding that we do already is um, we're going to make sure that there's an accurate pain goal on the communication board that can vary from patient to patient. Mm -hmm. Some people might have a zero, um, but a lot of people will probably have twos, threes, fours. And um, in addition to that, we're going to be asking and, re uh, and emphasizing really to the patients, we want to control your pain okay. as much as possible. So the big thing um, that we're going to be... specifically using that word control? Control. Okay. So how, we want to manage your pain, we want to control your pain as much as possible. And because, um, you know, as a, as a tech role, you're in the, the rooms, I think, far more frequently than the nursing staff. Mm -hmm. um, and they, I think it's a perfect role to learn uh, about pain control so you can communicate that to the nurse. Right. So even if I'm not able to manage the pain, at least I can check in on it and be aware right. of it. Right. I mean, I know you can also do pos repositioning and things oh, like sure. that. Um, so one of the things I guess I'd like for you to do is to teach back to me a little bit and maybe give me a little scenario on, on um Yeah, absolutely. So I would just always want to, I guess, establish whether or not the patient is in pain. Maybe ask, um, how is your pain doing? Mm -hmm. um, that way it leaves it open and it's not a, a yes or no question. Mm -hmm. um, and they can kind of elaborate on their own about that. And then... <clears throat> if a pain goal hadn't been established, um, I could, you know, ask them questions like, um, you know, what what level of pain can you operate at that you can, you know, do your day-to-day -day activities, um, you know, relatively with ease. Um, and I think, what else? The keyword. Keywords. So, um... I could ask them questions like, you know, how can we best manage your pain? Right. Um, you know, because the pain is individual to each patient, um, and they probably know better than just about anybody what is going to help manage that pain as well. Good, good. So, um, I think that once we round on every single patient, um, that we'll see an increase in our uh, HCAP scores. Yeah. From uh, right now, they're hanging out at 68% in the pain arena. Uh -huh. So we'd like to see them jump up. So we're going to be monitoring that really closely. Um, I, I guess it's probably pretty important to, to, you know, clarify with patients that might have misconceptions about having a zero pain when, you know, because I feel like we see so many chronic, you know, pain right. patients on this unit, and we, we can't get rid of all their pain. 
Right. Um, so really just clarifying that we're going to do everything within our power, but you know we might not be able to get it to go all the way away. But we're going to control it. Yes, we as are, as and possible. manage it. <clears throat> well, great. That's great. Um, so great. We're going to be in the process of uh, training everyone okay. on this. But um, you're so active here. I just wanted to make sure that we got you first. No, thank you. I appreciate mm, yes, touching yes. base. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Take care. You too.